Okay, I'm going to post a uh, script here of a daily um, order bank. So you can just drag and drop it every 24 hours. Or um, I guess if the market moves about 40 or 50 pips, you probably want to drop one and walk away. And then at least you'd have... Um, of course, I have not figured out the total risk on this pip-wise. But if you want to do the math, be my guest. I don't, I'm not really good at math, but... I guess I'm actually uh, kind of curve fitting the market with this um, with this script, and uh, the key on the script is here. When you see this D1, this is means that uh, that's going to last for about 24 hours. I think it's 24 hours. I'm pretty sure. I don't know what's going on under the hood here, but it's going to be out there. So, and if you don't like it, you can always come and delete all. That's why I like to run four-hour um, scripts mostly. But if you don't want, if you want to set it and forget it and go to sleep, and it's gonna, you're going to be asleep for more than four hours, you want your order to still be there. Now inside of here, I have turned off the confirmations. So this forward, two forward slashes turns off. It's a switch that turns off anything that comes after that. So actually, it's going to hide the meta quotes and this nonsense here and the show confirm if you turn that on it's going to say oh do you really want to do that well of course i want to do that <laughs> i mean or i wouldn't have chosen to do it right but i guess if you want it on safety mode where you have to take the, the safety off the trigger before you kill the guy yeah you probably want to do that but i'm kind of just like i don't care if i know how much i'm risking in this one script so now down here um is the rest of this code would be the description of um, how, how this is going to happen. Now, um, anything that's turned on is going to turn blue, typically. So here, this just this is just there to give your eyes something to. And I'm going to space these out because they are kind of hard to see. It, it is a little bit uh, disturbing. Now, there's a lot of tickets in here, but I've turned off two of them. To lighten the order up and these are all 1k's now here it should actually say uh, buy limit but I didn't put it in there um, this is the description that's going to show up inside of the uh, terminal so right here um, all these market orders that I bought kind of uh, I guess I did some uh, of course it's a demo account right so you can abuse it I did some revenge trading, I guess you'd call it, but not really because we were at key uh, price levels here on the British pound. So, um, totally made sense, but these are 15 minute tickets that just got filled right at the end of the day here. So, I'm down $17, had three grand in there. I think I'm down 100 bucks on the week, or maybe that was uh, maybe down 300 on the week, but I don't care, it's fake money for God's sakes. And if I get stopped, uh, actually there's stops on all these tickets. So if I wipe out this tip, uh, ticket bank, I'll still have about uh, two grand left to abuse. You know, it's just plenty of money. Um, if you know how to trade, you can take two grand and turn it to about eight grand in a month. That should be not a problem. But, uh, you know, presupposing you got, you know, you're keeping, uh, you know, every time you pull the trigger, you only trade in one case. Um, that keeps you out of trouble. Of course, here I pulled the trigger like a wild man. Now, this is the revenge trading here where I was getting filled just a few pips apart. And this is my biggest winner right now. But I have to wait for this 15 minute guy, 15 minute guy to uh, retrace bounds. And if this, if this script here was a, um, a 15 minute, it would say M15 up here. Anyways, the comment. So anything in the, these two parentheses here is going to show up there. Now, this is um, this first ticket here is the first one that the computer is going to lay in, into the chart. Now, depending on how fast your broker is, it depends on how fast these orders land. But it's basically saying uh, open position. OP means open position. Symbol is, I guess, apparently wherever you drop it on the chart. So that symbol, I don't think you can pick the symbol here and run. So you know, I, I just don't. It's like I wouldn't try to uh, take my eight-cylinder car and make it a seven-cylinder car. I don't I have a clue what's going on. But all I know is this stuff is what lands on the chart. So uh, here at this point, places a buy limit, and it's going to buy a 1K. So this is calibrated to a micro account or 
yeah, this is really going to be a, a five-digit uh, micro account, and uh, it's and after the comma, so it's going to buy um, actually 42 uh, pips deep, but I have to put the zero in there because it's a five-digit broker. So it's going to buy, buy um, 42 deep. This is the first ticket, and the next ticket's going to be 68 and a half pips down. So I'm kind of uh, laying in a um, spread all the way down to here at um, like 106 and a half pips. And I'm running a master stop at 120 pips down, even though it says 1,200. And then here, so here, these are all the stops. So the first thing I always mentioned, at least this is the order that this is configured on, it seems to work, is your entry your stop, your take profit. So here, this is basically a 20-pip bounce. I'm looking to capture a 20-pip bounce off of here with a monster stop. Now, ideally, if you have enough money in the account, which I didn't want to blow up the account because it's just kind of just testing this thing, and I didn't want to, like, uh, so I left everything at like, the one trigger like it's a BB gun. You know, you can't really... You know, you, you you kill your sister, but you can't, you know, really kill anybody with armor. So, I set the trigger down that. But now, ideally, you would have this set, like, by a 5K, by a 3K, maybe by a 2K. So, as it comes nearer to this master stop, where this, here's your entry, and here's your stop, you're you're still risking the same dollar amount on this one ticket the dollar amount stays the same whereas this and then this one has the same so if you're risking five bucks on this say uh, let's see what's figure here. you're risking about uh, eight dollars here if you wanted to risk um, eight dollars here you know you would find the lot size that fits a 20 pip at eight bucks so I guess you're buying a 4k and uh, you got your stop in there. Of course, if you don't, if you have these all laid in in layers, now this this daily is going to cost you more. But yeah, the, you're looking for a market, so you're looking for a fit. So you, you that's why you kind of want the grid up here because you're looking for a place to fit this in. Uh, you know, where can you size it up on this chart? And um, if every vertical channel here, so at 50 pips a day. Th that's not really a 50 pip uh, that's a 40 pip deep entry but if you can imagine having enough money in other words say you bought a uh, so the script would look like here this um, if you dropped it right now at 40 pips deep it's going to place a buy limit here it's going to place a buy limit here it's going to place, place a buy limit here and just you know random stagger just don't even care uh, you know, you put them on Fibonacci's if you want manually. You can place them, but my view of it is, <laughs> I've got single drop orders here I could actually place. Now these are um, these. This is just one ticket. See, here's a here's a daily two uh, K. Now that's that's a whole different kind of order because this order, if you put it above, it becomes a buy stop. If you put it below, it becomes a buy limit. So it oscillates between. And you in this one, uh, I have a fixed amount, but this is more, this is more work because you'd have to actually take these guys and depending on how big you want to trade, on these hand placed, precision placed, um, you know, put them right here. You know, just stack them up, stack a cluster around here. Um, that's why I went with the shotgun method where. I'm basically saying, you know what, this is a scalp bank here. It's going to buy, um, this is just crushing the view of this. Can't believe it. Um, I'm going to try to zoom in here, but I don't like to zoom on here. It's like out of, out of control. Um, but yeah, I'm saying when you drop this one, of course, this is not the one I'm po I'm posting the one that says um, retrace. But this is a, a scalp band, I called it. This Super Bowl, this one actually, what's going on here is, uh, it's going to buy 85 pips to 125 pips with a stop at 
145. And it's going to buy a 7K and it's going to last for four hours. Or this one lasts for a day, 30 minutes, one hour. This, I don't know what this is. Oh, this is some, I, hell, I don't even know. So this is a buy at the market order, though. Try to stay away from those. Uh, and this is a super, but the super ball concept is that it's going to buy at 45, but it's probably going to sell. Um, in other words, if it's going to buy down here, 45 pips deep, all the way to uh, 75, say here, with a stop here, then it's actually designed to, instead of scalping, instead of getting in here and getting out here, it's actually uh, half of these tickets, these orders, are designed to buy here and get out here. So it's it's more than a retracement. So when the market clobbers into, say, you see this uh, smash, smash and grab? You're actually buying here with a Super Ball script that gets you out here. I mean, that's you're looking to make this much money. Not, not that this breakout with a stop here isn't a good entry because you made bank. You made bank, right? But, um... Okay, this, so this Super Ball, where, where is this scalp band here, the way the style of this one is, is to be um, just capturing this area. In other words, it's going gonna, it's gonna to buy and then it's going to get out. So it's, it's, it's making money on a hammer. Because this is really a hammer here, right? I mean, this... This would be the hammer. And actually, the top of that hammer, uh, there's a baby hammer here because, you know, of course, light or dark hammer, you know, have your pick. Of course, this would be an in, maybe an inverted hammer here. But it, when it goes into trending mode, so there there will really be three styles of script, I'm thinking, of really. Um, I haven't written the trend ones because I hate trends, so I'm working on it. I'm working on it. The trend trade would be we buy on a stop here. We buy at the market, we buy on a limit, and our bias is this. So you're getting the breakout, get in light, you buy a 1K here, 1K is you buy here, you buy a 1K at the market, at this beautiful top become a bottom, right there. And when they go for the stop hunt, you've got a buy limit here. So and then and then you've got okay on this move to here you're gonna take one off the table and then the rest two you're gonna ride just conceptually from the standpoint of money management just keep it simple in other words buy stop buy at the market or you could have a buy limit sitting here if you were even if you didn't trade at the market you have a buy stop here and you place the buy limit here and another buy limit here or, you know, where's your stop going to be? Well, it's probably down Disneyland, right? And then, uh, so you'd even make money. So this script here, this one that says scalp band, 10 pips, it's going gonna, it's gonna to last a half, one hour. That's this kind of trade here. Market goes down, get in, 100% uh, or 50% retracement. Even if it only retraces this much, in other words, you had a, Say you got into a crappy situation here where you um, even got in up here. Even this swing here, you cash out on this style. But it's 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 bottomless pit. But I don't want. I guess yeah. I guess I'm just. Uh, I guess I want to do some precise uh, trading of just a certain script and then post it in this FX Junction thing. It's like kind of monitor how that script plays out. But that's going to be. I have to put another demo on all that drama. So. But, you know, we'll get there. You know, one day at a time, right? It's like the alcoholics say, one day at a time. So, yeah, um, I don't know. I, I guess I'm going to have to do another video.